In the last video, we created an effect in our application and added some selectors. In this video, we're going to explore the NGRX Entity Library. The Entity Library helps us manage collections of objects and reduce the amount of code we need for CRUD operations. It adds IDs and entities to the state, which has some performance implications. In our current state, when we look for an item, we have to look for it in the collection. With the Entity Library, because we have IDs and entities, we can just refer to its ID instead of having to look through the entire collection. In a small application like the one we're building, this is not important, but in a real scalable application with a lot of data, it's important to consider the impact in performance. And thanks to the Entity Library, we can manage the collection and perform CRUD operations in a very convenient way without having to write all the code ourselves. So let's install the Entity Library. We already installed the Entity package in a previous video, but in case you didn't, you can install it with the command npm install at ngrx slash entity. Then we are going to do all the work in the customer reducer file. So let's open it, and at the top, we are going to import a few things from the Entity Library. The Entity State, the Entity Adapter, and the Create Entity Adapter. So now we don't need the customer property, and we are going to add a selected customer ID property that we'll need later. And then we are going to create an instance of the Entity Adapter. This will provide us with useful methods that we need, reducing the amount of boilerplate code that we have to write. It's going to be of type Entity Adapter, and we are going to assign to it the return value of Create Entity Adapter. Now we are going to define a default customer with some initial values. And we are going to assign the default customer to the initial state using the get initial state from the adapter and passing in the default customer. So, for example, for the load customer success action, we can now use the add all method to add the customers from the action payload to the store and add in any properties that we want to update. And the same for the load customers fail. And now we'll have to use the get selectors function provided by the entity adapter to get the properties we want from the state and it will do the logic for us. Let's run the application to make sure we don't have any issues. And now, if we click on customers, we can see that we have the customers with the IDs and the entities, and they are showing up in the component. In the next video, we are going to continue to add the rest of the CRUD functionality. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash the like button if you like it, and share this course with any person that might be interested.